Okay, we are at six. So good health. That's fine. Energy 100. Nourishment 24. I'm kind of hoping that maybe that could be a way to actually get some free breakfast so, uh, so that I didn't have to use the pretzels. I'm really thinking that would be useful. What? Are we like locked in or what's going on? Oh, for a moment I was worried there that we just locked <laughs> on to the peasant quarters in there. Man, that was a bit of a scare. So hopefully everybody is gonna be waking up already at this point. In which case, let's check the kitchen. Still sleeping, really? Oh man. What is it? Just want to close the door. Yeah, exactly like that. And apparently wait an hour. Yes, wait an hour until 7 and hopefully at that time everybody's gonna be up already. Raining again. Well, everybody seems to be finally starting to get up. The cook apparently <laughs> not all that interested yet. So we're gonna be having to go back to her a bit later. So let's just check if maybe the lady is already up. She could be praying maybe or whatever. Let's see. So, this way. Is she gonna be here or not? Okay, she's not here. So let's check out if maybe she's praying or... I don't know. In the upper quarters. Hmm, apparently not. So wait an hour more. I shouldn't really bother her during prayers, prayers, but at the same time, she can pray for a very long time. I've, I've already tried actually waiting for her, so yeah, I'm just gonna barge in and talk to you. Sorry. The Lord be praised. What's on your mind? Well, you wanted to see me. I heard you wanted to talk to me, my lady. It's true. I need something from you. How can I help? My cousin, young Sophie, is going to be wed. It will be an entry into a new life and I want everything to be perfect for her. I'm looking for a few things to give her as a gift, and you're going to find them for me. Oh, my lady, but why me? Somebody's bossy here. <laughs> Normally I'd let the Chamberlain take care of it, but he doesn't have any taste. I can't trust him with this. And I've been told no task is too challenging for you. Is yeah, I've been killing people here and there, so I'm kind of fine with everything <laughs> from this point forward. It will be my honor, my lady. I need you to pick up an ornamental crown from Sasau for Sophie, wine wow, from a merchant Sasau. in Matai, and a roan from the stable in Ujits. Well? Who am I supposed to pick up the wine from? From Conrad Hagen in Ratai. He's the only person in the whole region who can supply a genuinely good wine. And believe me, I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Bit of a drunkard. <laughs> 14 groschens for a wine. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna write this down because I'm not certain if this is gonna be somewhere written. 
I just want to see how much I'm gonna be overpaying or underpaying. I'm just kind of curious about these little things. Let's give me a pen and some kind of paper. All right, fun my paper. The wine, she gave me 14 groschens. And the ornamental crown? I had the engravers in Sassau make it, but now they've written to say it will take a while longer. That just won't do. The wedding is almost upon us, and I need it. Go and see Master Jeronim Slesky and pick it up. Hmm, so it's apparently already paid for. You said uh, a roan from Ujits. Precisely. It's a beautiful animal. Wait till you see it. Dietrich said he'd ride it here himself, but I can already imagine how he'll end up killing himself on that horse. <laughs> but you, so young and vigorous. <laughs> Stop hitting on me, lady. <laughs> I suppose that you were actually married happily so far, but apparently not all that much. But yeah, your husband is old, you're young, so... Yes, so... Who am I supposed to pick up the wine from? Uh, it from wasn't Comrade actually Hagen clicked in, so... He's the only person in the whole region who can supply That's why I'm asking again. Wine. And believe me, I know what I'm talking about. Okay. Wine, a roan, and a crown. I can handle that. Thank you, Henry. I just wish there were others here I could trust so well. All right, so I'm just gonna check into journal if there's some kind of time limit on that because I first need to kill the bandits and whatever, serve or rather solve that problem. Hmm. By wine, one so unforgettable wedding for her cousin Sophie. Yeah, that seems that it's gonna wait. <laughs> That the wedding is not exactly just now coming up. Well, I closed that, so somebody opened it up. So I'm just gonna be leaving it open as well. And let's go into the kitchen now. Cook, where are you? Potentially want something to eat. I'm not certain if I should be just eating freely. Oh, I'm kind of guessing since I'm home here, I was able to actually eat anything. So I guess we might be fine with the cheese. Yeah, we are fine to basically pick anything here from the table. So let's just basically pick this up. Or rather the bread roll. Mm, yeah. And the cheese. That's gonna be our... Our breakfast, I'm thinking. The cheese and a bit of a bit of a bread roll. Nourishment ten. Eighty-nine, okay. And with it we're gonna be eating the bread. Seventeen, that's that's a bit of an overkill. So I kinda thinking that the bread roll is gonna be fine. Yep. And how long does actually the cheese hold? We can actually pick it up for a bit later. If we need. It's holding for five days. That's actually pretty cool. Let's take just one. Let's not be too greedy. And we are kind of ready at this point to go all the way into the forest. So let's do that. Let's go outside. We're not gonna be jumping down. We're not running away this time around. <laughs> let's let's be civilized people. Go for pebbles. Who's coming outside or rather from the stables apparently or whatever. 
that he was hiding. And we're going south and east. So not really this way. Yeah, we just need to go on the road. To the correct road. <laughs> Did you see those cows on the left dropping in? <laughs> it's kind of funny how they were actually dropping from the from the sky. <laughs> but yeah, well, of course it's because I'm on the details that I'm on. And the distance at which I view objects as well. And I wanted to go into the shop. I mustn't forget to go into the shop. And I already forgot, damn it, to pick the lockpicks so that we can go into the forest and into the chest. I'm just gonna leave the horsey here at the bottom and scale this on my own. It's gonna be faster and easier to do. be with you can we trade if you've got the coin well I definitely have the coins so they give me lock picks one is for ow oh, it's expensive really price 17 damn it that's a lot I need to buy at least five of those 88 Oof. expensive one but I need to I need to get them let's have, let's have a word about the price naturally hopefully they're not gonna be breaking all that easily and they're not gonna be like one use so they're gonna be staying for a bit at 88 I want to break this down to about 70 is this enough? That's not enough. So where you go from the 88? 81. So 80. Nice. Yes. Good. That would do it. So we saved about 8, if I remember correctly. That's pretty good. That's about 10% saved. That's nice nice discount indeed. And we can go in back into the forest and pick the chest. And let's see what kind of treasures there are hidden. Which means that we can go basically directly to east. Into this camp. Some activity giver. Let's just not do that yet. Let's just not do that yet. We are having plenty quests right now going. So let's not overwhelm ourselves all that easily. So you're gonna be coming into the forest. Yes. the road which means that we oh we have discovered another nest which is right now where above us somewhere no oh yeah yeah it's there it is certainly there <laughs> can we actually like somehow actually get there from the tree yeah, Holy Takubar, I know that I can, but I haven't found a way to actually, uh, like, name them. Or basically, like, type what is there. I was already having a few ideas, or other first few places where I wanted to place them. But I just couldn't figure out if I can somehow name them. So, if you have a knowledge on that, it would be definitely helpful. Where is the nest? Eh, don't see it. Ah, there it is. Can actually catch it or rather get to it from the horseback. I don't think so. So I'm really kind of thinking that this is gonna be the case where you can shoot it down by a bow. 
Because I don't see any kind of reasonable way how to get there otherwise. But I don't exactly want to do that. Why would I want to destroy houses of birds? By some kind of... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what. But we're on a horse, we need to go all the way. To the east and a bit to the north. So northeast. It's like this way. Or see, turn around. And yeah, that's that's actually kind of sucky if it would be just one. Okay, now we need to go directly east. And we're at the camp, exactly. Nice. Alright. So if I've actually scouted this correctly, there should be just this one. And nothing else that we could actually pick, pick up. Plenty of places to sleep, potentially something to eat, but yeah, well, I'm not gonna be eating from here. I just basically right now, I said to myself at the start of the game, I'm not gonna be eating from absolutely random pots of food. Because like... How can you know that it's actually good or whatever? It's not spoiled and such. Ah, okay, so that's the use for that. I was kind of wondering if it's going to be having some kind of use and that's actually useful. Okay, so thanks for the info. That's actually pretty cool. Yeah, this doesn't seem to be pickable or openable. Anything on this? So let's just try with that one we found. No opening here. Nothing to open here either. So let's see what treasures this holds. I haven't used it in the full version. In the beta, I definitely sucked at it. Okay, so, to resort up, rotate lock, help, yeah, that's what I need, help, lock picking. In order to pick locks, you must have at least one lock pick in your inventory, although it's better to have one or two spares since they get worn with use and in the worst case can break. You start the actual lock picking process by holding E on lock. You will then see a diagram of the lock mechanism in which you have to find the right spot to insert the lockpick. Hmm. Then you have to use the lockpick, or rather it's probably gonna be right now moving to the right side. How close you are to the sweet spot is indicated by the size of the cursor and it turns gold when you find it. Hmm. Then you have to use the lockpick D to turn the whole lock mechanism at the same time, you have to coordinate the movement of the lockpick with the rotation of the mechanism, because the rotation shifts the position of the sweet spot. Well, that sounds complicated. If you try to turn the mechanism without having the lockpick in the correct position, the mechanism will stick, which will damage the lockpick or even break it. Any damage to the lockpick will produce a noise, which can draw unwanted attention, and breaking it will cause, even will cause an even louder snap. Oh well, it seems interesting because I'm not entirely certain if I understand the system. I should be first then finding the gold spot, then insert it, and then it's gonna be started, starting to turn and I need to basically turn with it. Well, that seems really complicated. Okay, so I need to get this. Okay. Seems like the first task. And I need to... No. Okay, so I need a bit slower. Need to go a bit slower, alright. Or is it like going back all the time? It seems so. Are you telling me that I actually need to... <laughs> In that speed, need to stay with it. Wow, that's... 
That's pretty nasty, then. Hmm. Okay, that's gonna be pretty difficult. What the hell? Okay, this way. Okay, so I cannot be too hasty. Cannot be too hasty. I probably <laughs> destroyed one of my lockpicks, I'm thinking. Right? Oh! Actually destroyed three lockpicks on that. On an easy one, really? And they cost, they cost me about 17 each. Wow. <laughs> okay. Well, that's an expensive fun. I'm definitely hoping that this is gonna be worth it. Or are they somewhere like used, like different ones? Because that sucked ass then. Yeah, apparently dirty. Should have cleaned up. Forgot about that. Okay, good. At least the money are back. So we spent three, that means about 60. So basically all the money that I'm fighting here <laughs> are actually gonna be exactly for the picks. But then silver goblet, decorated silver goblet, and it's good money. Bivoy's <laughs> rage potion, that's actually fun because Bivoy, that's a guy from uh, Czech Myth. Czech Myths, that was quite a strong guy. So this is gonna be all about strength. Well, I actually started on a lock that's supposed to be easy. Okay, there are very, okay, yeah, very easy. Yeah, all right. So I started on a bit more difficult one. But yeah, I'm not gonna be lockpicking anything that isn't basically bandits. I'm not gonna be lockpicking anything in castles and such. Only from bad guys. So I'm expecting not all that many of those are gonna be coming on my way. At least the way I'm playing so far, so let's see. But this is increases strength and invokes a bloody frenzy. During combat it will increase the damage for 50%. Alright, that's actually could be coming handy. <laughs> and he's having nourishment 7, that's fun. And vitality potion. What does that one do? You feel like Achilles and can withstand the wounds easily. For 5 minutes strength will wound you 50%. Oh, that's a good combination, both of those. That's, that's nice. Let's take all. And why is it called steel? I don't like that. I'm taking it from bandits. So why should it be exactly stolen? Well, I'm taking it all. That's for certain. And is it gonna be a stolen? No, it isn't. Okay, so good. That's something that I would like to be cleared up in the game because there are places where you think that it shouldn't be stealing and it isn't stealing, like for example here. But at other places, it is stealing. So, yeah. That would be nice to be actually a bit clear, a bit more clear on that. But anyway, that's good. In which case we are solved here. And what's the time? We are at, at about noon. Nourishment is good. Yes. Everything seems to be quite fine, in which case we have already looked around the camp. I'm gonna be checking yet again into into the woods, because that's where I actually beat the Kuman. Where he dropped all the spot, or rather all, all the weapons and whatever. And even though I think that I did pick up everything, I'm not entirely certain, because it's in the brushes. Maybe something stick to the ground. I don't see really anything here, so I'm kinda guessing that I did pick up everything that I wanted to. Alright. In that case, let's go kill some people. Or at least force them to surrender, <laughs> that is. <laughs> That's kinda what I like to do, but somehow, sometimes I get over enthusiastic, <laughs> actually. Mesh the buttons a bit too much and kill them right off. Yes, that has happened. So I am a murderer. But at the same time murdering people that are actually stealing from the dead, some brigands and whatever. That's not exactly a morally wrong thing to do all that much. 
Okay, so we need to go to the south. And find the two brigands. And I definitely hope that I'm not gonna die to them, because the safe walls with the charcoal burners. Then, here in the castle, but I would just basically have to repeat the lockpick, so in the end it's not really that bad. Yeah, there's a road. Mm, you don't need to take that. You can actually go right now across country pretty much. And see maybe if he discovers some funny stuff. Oh, for example, like this well. This seems like a place of interest. Uh-huh. And it exactly is. So what's this all about? Some kind of old well. These are usually good places to hide treasures or anything. Not that I won't would want to steal some random treasure from people. But yeah, so that basically I know where it is potentially is. Yeah, well, there doesn't seem to be anything here. It seems that this is not gonna be a spot of treasure then. Just something interesting, which it kind of is. Yeah, well, we didn't find anything more than actually the bell itself, so I just mount up. Oh, no, mount up. And continue moving in our general direction, which is about south. some kind of interesting spot number two. <laughs> Woodland garden. <laughs> That's fun. What is that supposed to be? Or rather whose this is supposed to be? That's probably gonna be the better question. Because there doesn't seem to be anybody living here, anybody close by. But it's almost like <laughs> somebody in today's age growing hemp <laughs> or something like that. Huh. Can we like pick something up? I don't think so. Oh, that's actually plenty of mints here that somebody is growing. Water for a water in, and what's behind it? Don't exactly want to step on it all that much. Let's just walk around the edges. Comfrey, hmm, that I think I don't have. It's gonna be on horsey, I think. Yeah, Comfrey is new, but I don't feel comfortable stealing from people. This is somebody's, let's not be a dick. <laughs> but if I need Comfrey and I don't know where to find it, yeah, well, potentially this could be the place. Alright. We are getting closer, which means still moving south. There's a deer in there, and that's a stag actually, and there's a person. That was he? Okay, that was the guy that I actually tried to talk to yesterday, like yesterday in the game, but he just didn't want to 
say anything back to me, so I kind of guess. Yeah, well, hello again. And I'm right now right on top of the camp, right? If I remember correctly. Yes, pretty much. Mm -hmm. I'm on top of the camp. Okay, so I need to cross the river. And get ready to deal with the bandits or whatever. I'm kind of interested if I have enough even arrows. Probably don't have enough. I'm right now having 9 hunting. Arrows, one poor quality, which is the one that I kind of want to keep because that's the one that hit me in the prologue when I was running away from Silver Skalice. Stříbrná Skalice Tournament Arrows. Shouldn't be really used, but I can, I guess I can. I'm just looking for the options because the first party, when I was trying to free Lord Capon, I basically killed one of them with a bow from the backside. Basically from the cover. <laughs> okay, wait a bar. That's definitely encouraging. <laughs> I'm kind of thinking that pebbles. I should probably dismount. Okay, there's some kind of building at the back, or whatever it is. kind of camp. Maybe they're gonna be in the clearing in there, but let's just let's just amuse ourselves with discovering what this campsite is all about. Oh, there, there are a lot of... there's a lot of blood. Okay, this is gonna be some kind of tenor's camp. Sleep and save. Yes, getting some deer. <laughs> And apparently I can get I can get some food out of it. And this is looking like some kind of poachers. Which might not be a good idea to be at. Because I'm supposed to be law. Hape in the bailiff. Or the help in the bailiff. In which case they might be kinda dangerous to us, but at the same time. Let's not be chickens, right? I cannot pick anything up, just potentially look in, inside, <laughs> inside the deer. Hmm. Don't exactly want to be touching that, so screw that. So maybe there's gonna be some kind of trapper somewhere. That I could potentially talk to or whatever. What is actually that? Is it some kind of rock? Or no, it's actually not rock. It's actually fell trees. Fallen trees. Alright, that's fun. I really love all those little details in this game. It's absolutely awesome. When you just basically go through the through the world, it's nothing like gen or procedurally generated like in other games. You just basically see the touches of the level designers inside all the little things that basically make the feel, make the world feel alive even without NPCs everywhere you just don't need that all you need are details that basically tell the story that somebody happened here or something happened in here somebody was here and such right now I'm thinking I'm going all the way wrong, all the wrong route yes pretty much becoming a whole lot more into east Hello, rabbit. Not gonna be punching you today. <laughs> I actually already did punch a rabbit into unconsciousness. I, I kind of thought that I actually killed him by punching him. By punching him. And imagine my surprise when he suddenly sprang to life and started running away. I really got a scare out of that because <laughs> that was that was really unexpected. I really thought I killed him. Yeah, well, apparently not. 
That happened to me in basically in the first session, I think. Either first or second, I'm not entirely certain. But yeah, not in this one. Yeah, my basically my idea is good guy playthrough and making decisions as I would in real life. So far it's proving quite fun. Sometimes sometimes the game is exactly not rather not allowing me to do what I would want to do. Some options are missing in dialogues and whatever. But overall, I have to say that the game is actually coping with my style really really well. Because I'm kinda of expecting that overall the game is expecting a whole lot more role-playing than I'm doing. I'm really approaching it from like basically real world, real world standpoint, which is not exactly what the authors are actually having in mind, it seems. But I haven't really met any kind of game breaking bugs, so that's really great. Even when I'm playing the game not in a way that it's probably thought that it should be played in. The rain could be definitely helping us in sneaking, because of course it should be making up noise for the people to basically not notice us. Not so fun, nobody. Well, but yeah, I'm really expecting them on the clearing in the middle. What was that? Apparently nothing. Hmm, there is some kind of little camp or whatever there. Or is this just a clearing? No, that seems to be just a clearing. Okay. And there's a road, there are some sheep in the darkness, or maybe just stones, I don't know. But I'm going the wrong way. I'm not exactly thrilled going by the road. Because I'm gonna be going up people that I want to at least bash over the he at least bash over the head if not downright kill if they're gonna be in that mindset so <laughs> don't exactly want to announce myself to them all that much okay I want to go south now this way. Hmm, how did I find myself on the road that I didn't want to be on? <laughs> I don't want to be on this road. I want to be slightly off it. Seem to be some buildings, some buildings in there. Oh yeah, we discovered the camp. So is that the correct camp or what? Yeah, there are certainly people. Right now the question is if I should talk to them first, fight later, or let the weapon speak. Hmm. <laughs> that is a serious question. Maybe I can talk them down or something. Maybe I don't need to kill them. Because with the Kumans it was quite clear. It was just one guy Kuman. They were holding my Lord hostage. So it was obvious that I'm gonna be fighting with them. So yeah. I just wanted to... Oh, maybe he noticed me. Oh fuck, he did. And he's not friendly. You're not gonna talk, right? No, he is. Greetings, my good man. Oof. May I ask you a question? Ask first, then I'll ask you something. Really? Good then. Oh yeah, these We're are the guys. We're looking for Ginger, a stable boy at a nearby stud farm. Have you seen him? <laughs> he definitely gave me quite a significant scare right there. Huh. I was just about to ask you two the same thing. I'm looking for him too. 
Then it's a pity neither of us has found him yet. Thank heavens I've found you, though. I imagine you two might be able to tell me something about Neuhoff. Hmm? I see. Well, we can give you a little demonstration. All right, here we go. Ouch. I'm really sucky at fighting. Is that the best you can do? Uh, considering we're fighting with bludgeons, both of us. Oh well, there are two of them right now. Right? Oh yes, I'm fucked. Well, where is Pebbles? Fudge. <laughs> like they, let's take this a bit different, dude. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to take two because I cannot kill even one. So what I'm gonna do is run somewhere. And probably go all the way back to Sir Robert. I, sh I should right now be away from their range. Hopefully. Well, that was... Was really scared there for a moment. That I would be dying. Well, Sir Robert is somewhere here. Yeah, I'm gonna do it <laughs> in a normal way. I'm gonna be asking for reinforcements because... Yeah, let's face it, I'm no Rambo. I'm not gonna be able to kill two people. Could have seen how I was fighting. Like a total cripple. <laughs> so what's this all about? They are gone. Yes, they, they don't seem to be after me anymore. Oh, hello, dear. Just casually strolling in there. And right now bolting. <laughs> Maybe I could really be killing at least one of them with bow. It's a question. That is a question. I could potentially take them on. But I'm really of the mind to call Colin friends. What's this? Is this an inn? Yeah, that seems like an inn. Okay. Lodgings here. And a person that can give us some kind of whatever clues or... Yeah, I kinda actually don't want to repeat all that I've already done. Like going for, for the lock, lock pick and whatever. So I'm I'm kinda gonna go for Sir Robert. Kinda think it makes sense. And kinda what I would do in real life. Fighting two guys at once, trying to be some hero or whatever. Be a bit more careful. Doesn't make all that much of a sense. There's plenty of people here. What's going on? Because I cannot talk to anybody. Hell house mate. Hmm? Oh, he's gonna be probably for the dice. Good day to you. Yeah, not interested. Not gonna be gambling. But gonna talk to you. Maybe you have some kind of interesting info. Place to sleep, let's talk trade, no need. How is he looking with our nourishment? We are getting kinda late already. Hmm. We are dirty though, so we should clean up. Health not exactly great, well we got kind of hammered in there, so not that much of a surprise. And we should probably put off, put off all <laughs> those things. It might be the reason why people didn't want to talk to us all that much, maybe. Well, maybe not. Can I like steal horses? Yes, I can. But I'm having pebbles, so I'm not gonna do that. And do. That's a name. Good day to you. What do you need? Alright. That's fun. We know about those. Okay, that's in this is looking like some kind of fence or whatever. I don't know. What's happening around here? That's Our interesting. Trade. Any trouble around these parts? Nothing we can handle. Huh. 
Not too helpful. Maybe it could be having something to do with all the blood around, or rather on me. <laughs> ah. That's a, that's a weird question. Why would I ask him if he needs any supplies? Even though it's probably gonna be leading to a quest, in real life I just wouldn't ask it, like, why? Why would I do that? Just... just not. Where are you training? Axe? Alright. That's good to know, I guess. And they're having... what are they having here? Yeah, I'm not really certain, I haven't really looked up what this kind of... what these flowers are. My personal guess would be on a mustard, but I'm not really certain if it's... If it's that... or rather if it's not a new world flower. Not really certain at all. I'm thinking it's actually Eastern. So it could be. Could be that. Yeah, yeah, I kinda, I kinda see that. That it's making sense, but... At the same time, I probably wouldn't be asking that out of the blue. Just random people, do you need some supplies? Like... Probably wouldn't do that. And I want to play the game in a way, as I would basically live in there, and ask you questions and such. What is this venture all about? Oh, <laughs> okay. I was having a bit of a thought that maybe it could be something along those lines. <laughs> yeah, okay. Old whore. Sorry, not going to be making business with you today. <laughs> That's a deer in the middle. Yeah, it seems so. So let's go basically to Sir Robert. He can fast travel there. Or can we? Or rather should we? Uh, potentially it's gonna be some kind of interesting route ahead of us. So let's put the tracker in there, as you said. Horse trader. Activity giver. Or no, we actually shouldn't go there, we should go up as where Robard is. Okay, there. We need to go east, southeast along this road. Well, right now I still hope that this robot is somewhere here, because the last time I basically went with him into the forest to deal with the dudes, with one of those, or rather with one of the dudes, that was kinda hit there. 
so I'm not entirely certain that he's actually gonna be waiting at this point. Okay, we need to go far this way. Overshot it. Five it. Okay, horses are still here. And the nicely clothed ones seems to be several So, are you present? Maybe we'll have to ask. You won't talk to me. Zora. I don't remember what she was all about. Ah, okay, she's actually selling horses. Okay. Ah, there he is. Hello. Good health to you. Hmm. Nice. And this is exactly what I love about this game. Because even if I'm having ideas like this to go ask for help and whatever, so far I haven't discovered a moment where it wouldn't be possible, where the game wouldn't count with the possibility of what I want to do. Yes, yes, yes. I need help with a killer seeking ginger. I need help. Is that so? What's the matter? Did you lose your way? No, oh, I found those bones. No need to be so nasty. I want to kill ginger. Fuck! We need him alive. How many of them are there? Just two, but they're tough looking brutes. We'll see about that. After them. Lead the way. Mm, apparently, cutscene. So I did something that is interesting, or not. Lost your wind? No, I... Come on! Sorry that I wasn't able to be more helpful. Okay, we actually slaughtered them, really, all together. It seems so. But yeah, this is actually a nice cutscene that it actually <laughs> took us right next to the fight. But so I completely screwed it up. The filthy bastards! You should have hanged for this! <laughs> Shit. I was actually hoping to land a bit more fighting on help, but it didn't really work out. And yeah, I'm not gonna be looting the bodies Good work, man. in front Two of people. So thank you for the help. Well, that's that. <laughs> There's less evil in the world now. It's just a shame we couldn't squeeze anything out of them. They probably could have told us some interesting things. They would have talked if they meant to. What's done is done. True. And how do you fare? Have you found anything? I know someone who will speak more freely now. Excellent. Once you have everything, come and see me. Is that clear? Clear. Neat. Thank you, friends, for all the help. Unfortunately, I wasn't all that much of a help as I <laughs> was having all kinds of problems getting uh, into the helping mood. Unfortunately, so sorry about that. If I could reload, it could be nice, but I cannot really reload because I would like to help them a bit more instead of fumbling with keys. Ginger and Pickle Bernard overcame bandits. It was right now, 23-27. Yeah, it's your service, milady. That's, that's way too soon. Uh, let's load this, maybe it's on the battle, rather. Not entirely certain, because I would like to help a bit more. This was just basically me fumbling with hotkeys. It wasn't anything in the game. You should have fucked off while you had the chance. New, apparently not. Well, we did let at least one blow, so let's consider that a victory for us. <laughs> that we we pitched in, you? let's say. Well, that's that. Aye. 
It's nice. They would have talked if true. I know someone who will speak more freely now. Excellent. Clear. Okay, he beat it. That's a camp. Not gonna be sleeping with dead guys at the same spot. Go back to Ginger's Guardians. They were here in the camp. Or are they like in the forest or whatever? Why why they are hit there? Should be coming to the left. We are still having quite good quite good light left, so let's not waste it. Or see, yeah. Trample them. Right on their heads. <laughs> exactly, that's what they deserve. Let's remove the marker and we need to go here into this marker, which is exactly the other way. Oh, there's actually potentially a trunk a bit later. If it's gonna be left here, which I'm not entirely certain. But it, it's a basically official crime scene. So I'm not in the mood of looting those. Because officials know about them. They will want to come back and if I loot with that, it will be kind of weird. I'm not gonna be falling anywhere. Almost. <laughs> I already did that today. Almost fell the face of a cliff. Almost killed myself. Basically, cost me half the health. Luckily, horsey didn't suffer anything. No, apparently he's kind of invincible or whatever. I'm getting close. Yes, we are. What's actually going on with all those bandages or whatever? I'm like really beat up or whatever. Hmm. Don't know. Don't really know. Nourishment fine, energy fine. Health, that's a bad one. Oh, there it is. Injured torso. Okay, and injured head. Yeah. Not entirely certain what that means. For me. Her body is basically just is probably gonna be showing at those places of the body. And then I'm gonna be tender in those places. And if somebody is gonna hit me in those, then I will be facing problems. I think, in, um, if I remember correctly from beta, that's somehow how it goes, the fighting. That if you can abuse, for example, an opponent who is holding his hand or whatever, hit him on the hand, it's gonna be getting easier for you to fight him. So where is the dude that actually wanted to talk to me if I helped his friend? No, this, is, this was the one that was asking for money, aka the douchebag. Nobody here. The, this guy was the spokesman. He wasn't really helpful either. Hmm, plenty of apples. So apparently not gonna be stealing from you. But maybe I really need to go all the way there. Or maybe I haven't talked to everybody. God be with you. Oh, such a cordial meeting. <laughs> Hugging each other. I found those bandits and took care of them. I'm glad to hear it. If it's true. If you don't believe me, I can take you to their bodies. All right. I'll take your word for it. Ginger's hiding out in a ruined hut not far from here. You go north along the road to Ujits until you see a path to the right that leads to a spring. There's an overgrown path from there that'll lead you to where Ginger is. But it's easy to miss it. Thank you. 
What was all that about? About the cross on going to Ginger's guardians? Because I started the quest with this Are dude. So how could I figure out going in there? That was some kind of discontinuity in the game. Yeah, well, let's go into the forest then, I guess. Oh no, I was on the map. Map and remove the marker. Northeast. You're not gonna be using pebbles for this. I'm kinda right now thinking if I should be cleaning up before I go, look, go talk to Ginger, but I kinda don't want to. I would like to scare him a bit if it's gonna be making a difference. Which it could. So he should be realizing that he's in pretty deep trouble. And if he's not gonna be helping him helping me. Well, just part of that blood could be also his. Let's at least let him think that. I'm not gonna be of course doing that, but cannot hurt. To intimidate a bit. Mm, there is something to open. I saw that. Huh. In which case it doesn't... Oh, okay, how we talk about it. I was thinking the same. In which case it doesn't make all that much of, much of a sense. That... Uh, oh, what I wanted to say. That actually it crossed the quest as non-finished. It's really weird. But well... Ready Venison. Don't exactly want to steal from here either. Like this is just as I said, I want to steal only from places. What's up with this dude? He seems important. What the hell? Not, he's not talking to me though. I want it's to steal. It's not my fault. There was nothing I could have done to help. Okay, I was that's frozen him. solid. I couldn't even open my mouth. I couldn't even get a peep out. They would have killed me if I'd said anything. I couldn't stop what happened. I'm not to blame. All right. Jesus, you've led me a merry dance. What do you want from me? I want to ask you a couple of questions. Why did you run off like that? Where are your cronies? And why did you kill that bandit? What? Right, one thing at a time. Okay. Why did you run off in such a hurry? B because I was afraid they'd come back and kill me. Who? Those, those bandits, of course. To get revenge on you for killing their mate. Killing? Me? I, I never killed anyone. God is my witness. Hmm. And now tell me exactly what happened. And don't leave anything out. That's quite a long story. Don't worry, I won't get bored. All right. I woke up in the middle of the night because I needed to go for a piss. So I went out into the dark, same as usual, only... Only there was something there that shouldn't have been. At first I thought it was just a trick of the light, but it wasn't. And then it was too late. They went past, and I thought they must be horse thieves. I would have yelled, only I was afraid they'd kill me. So I waited until they were out of sight, and I started to sneak away. But then... Then the slaughtering started. Yes. Yeah. I, I thought they'd steal the horses and ride off. That would be bad enough. But then all the killing started, and flames everywhere. Oh, it was terrible. Like hell itself. And then? It, it seemed some of them didn't like it either. They started squabbling among themselves, and some of them started running back where they came from, right towards me. And I had that thing in my hand, the hoof pick. So you stabbed the first one in the belly? No, no. He ran right into me. He was running fast for a fellow with a limp. He pushed me aside and I fell on the ground. Then he told me I'd better lie low if I valued my life. And he ran off with the others. I did what he said and hid. Then the rest of the gang ran past. And then? And 
Then I waited in case that limping one from Ujits came back. I didn't dare come out until I was sure. I think it was almost light. Hmm. Interesting. What about the others? Was there anything you noticed about them? Uh, I don't know. Th there might have been maybe eight of them, and two of them were really big. That's all I can remember. Do you know what they argued about? I didn't hear everything, but I reckon some of them were only there to steal and wanted no part in the killing. Hmm. That's a weird thing. I know how you feel. <laughs> it's kind of strange. Huh. It's kind of a weird one, not okay. gonna say that. Okay, well, probably not gonna be given any, anything or other anything more. Because you already know why he killed him and how he killed him and whatever. Rather that he didn't kill him, so I kind of guess I know enough. Or do I know enough? I know there were about eight of them that they run. Mm, I don't exactly want to ask questions that I wouldn't really yet again ask in real life. So I'm not in the mood to ask this one. I think I'll know enough. I've heard everything I need to hear, so I'll leave you be. Wait! What about me? Won't you help me out? Uh, perhaps I could. What would you like? I'd like to go back to the stud farm, but those cutthroats who want to kill me are still around. Will you help me? They're out of the way. I ran into them on my travels. Really? That's great, but... What? I'm afraid to go back to the farm. I, I ran away, and God knows what they'll think about it all. I don't know if they'll even want to talk to me. I could go and ask them, if it's important to you. Would you? You'll definitely have their respect, the way you took care of those cutthroats. Right. What is it? Which means that right now, we're gonna be coming back to the farm. And of course... Yep, yep, yep. In which case I can probably fast travel there. It shouldn't be that much of an issue. be thinking about some resting well maybe in the lodging so maybe they're gonna be allowing me to sleep somewhere here not entirely certain but where am I uh, I need to go north that is north that is north I want to talk to the people to like the ginger back in because it seems like that he's just a confused lad so it was a fright and whatever things kind of escalated beyond his control Oh, not like he had any control in the first place, so... Don't go any anywhere... No, sorry, everyone. To sleep. Where is the lady of the house? Don't tell me she already went to sleep. That would be super disappointing. What the hell are you doing here still? Well, I'm kinda afraid I'm actually way too late at this point. I'm probably already gonna be inside all of them. In which case... I'm actually going inside. Um, they're really locked. It sucks. That significantly sucks. 
Yeah, I'm just gonna be standing there apparently. Hmm, so where I'm gonna be coming for sleep. I'm right now not really wanting to report to Captain Bernard because I'm thinking that it's gonna be closing the quest and I'm not gonna be able to help him anymore. The dude with the B with the optional quest in here. So I'm definitely worried about that. But at the same time, I'm already here. Captain is here. So if that's going to be the order of business, then that's going to be the order of business. Jesus Christ be praised. I talked to Ginger and found out what happened. Out with it then. Ginger fled because he recognized one of the raiders. He was afraid they'd come back to silence him. Well, he was right. They were asking about him. So who did he recognize? He didn't know his name. Some fellow with a limp from Ujits. All right. If you've gone this far, you may as well ask around in Ujits. We have enough to do here in these parts anyway. Sir Radzik will tell you about it. He said to send you to him if you haven't already been. Okay. Good. The quest should be still continuing. Yes, it is. It's nice to hear. And apparently Sir Radzik is here for a reason. The Lord be praised. What brings you to me? My lord, I managed to find a clue to the whereabouts of the bandits. Excellent. Bernard already told me what's been happening, but I'd like to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. <laughs> the whole story or just the gist of it? <laughs> it's up to you what you consider important. Huh. Okay, that's funny. This is gonna be probably... Well, I shouldn't be really wasting the time of the Lord, I'm guessing. So let's be brief. Well, in the end, I tracked down the stable boy who fled in fear of his life. And for good reason, too. He put me on the trail of a crofter from Ujit with a limp. And his name? The boy didn't know him by name, only by sight. But if I ask around, I'm sure folk will know who limps and keeps peculiar company. Villagers like to gossip. But what if he's not there? He could have fled, maybe even to Kuttenberg. If I don't find him in Ujits, I'll ask around. Someone will know something about him. All right. Better go to Ujits then. Find this limping footpad and get the names of the others out of him. They have to face justice for what they did. I want to see them hang. Then bring him to me in Merhoyed and I'll decide on his fate. Certainly, sir. 125 Groshans. Why choose Merhoyed? It's somewhat at the center of events, isn't it? And what's more, there's another stud farm there. Hmm. Sir, do you think they're going to try the same thing again? I shouldn't think so. Everyone will be on the alert now, but the secluded dwellings are more vulnerable. There are few people in them. They're scattered everywhere and we can't guard them all. But the bandits won't find much silver in places like that. There's always a groschen or two, some food and so on. Anyway, how much silver did they get from slaughtering those horses? True. If they'd stolen them, they could have sold them. Those were fine animals. Exactly. It's not about the silver. It's about something else. But what? Creating fear. Such great terror that you won't even squeak when they come to cut your throat. Never mind raise your hand against them. Fear that will root you to the spot. Staring like a rabbit entranced by a stoat, waiting for the death blow to fall. Helpless to do anything about it. Hmm. All right. Interesting talk right there. Interesting talk right there. Oh, have I just now screwed up the quest then? That I cannot right now talk him inside? Oh no! Well, that's... that's... no! Oh! <laughs> I didn't want to do that at all. I want to finish the quest for for the ginger. This is it's not exactly what I imagined this would be when I started talking to him. That the quest would basically get destroyed like that. Oh. Okay. 
So is it like really right now done? Where can I see like the done quests or whatever, the, the done parts of them? Ginger in a pickle. Yeah, it's done. That's not what I wanted to do though. I wanted to really help. Yeah, I'm gonna load this. Because that's, that's kind of the game screwing me over. That should have been still available. No matter what. So, yeah. Not interested in that. Maybe I can still somehow talk to people though. Let's see first about that before we pull the plug. Jesus, the fuck is going? Picks. Oh, I can open this one, but this is only some kind of ladder. Yes, there's nothing in here. There is absolutely nothing in here. Going outside, and let's check where is potentially the lady somewhere close by. Otherwise, I'm probably gonna run into into the inn for the sleep. Yeah, I guess so. Hello. Tables. question also is if they are still working at this hour they should be they hopefully should be it's not in town so it shouldn't be basically like closing with uh, how's it called with dusk where's the innkeeper that's Andrew to good neighbors. Ale housemate, for example. Let's see if he can talk to you. Can I sleep here? I suppose I could find something. For how long? Just the one night. No problem. But you pay in advance. Oh, sure. Hmm, that's quite a lot. Can we discuss the price? D did she like kick me in the nuts and say no or did that like work? It almost seems like that she didn't exactly enjoy my offer. <laughs> Right? Because I didn't hear the coins. What's actually this dude all about? Hmm. Hmm. Let's talk to her again because that seems weird. Have you got a bed for the night? Certainly. For how long? Yeah, that really seemed like a bug. Just the one night. I'm gonna try again no as well. Problem. Having the same but thought right there. In advance. So if so, that's in that case mm. gonna be the first bug that I've encountered. Can we discuss in the, the game? Let's let's not go to to steep level over then. Like one eight. Could be maybe fine. What about this? Well, a little more and we'll call it a deal. 
Oh, maybe maybe it wasn't a bug, and maybe she just literally stopped talking to me because she felt offended. <laughs> Could be. One nine. Yeah, well, apparently. At least yourself, no one ten. That's my bad. Where do I go to sleep? On the upper floor of the inn. There's steps up to it outside. The middle room is yours. Okay. Okay, okay. So. Damn it, I see squat here. I do have a torch, but. Yeah, well. Mm, let's go pebbles into stables. Where he is. Where is he? Come here. Here. As a paddock for you. Go there. I don't know. How do I get the. How do I get you here? Maybe I'm just gonna ride you and park you there. <laughs> there should be a room for you here. There you go. I can actually go... Okay, but I cannot dismount now. <laughs> That's a problem. How do I... <laughs> oh, now I can dismount. Well, unfortunately, I... I cannot really probably force you in there, but that's the best I can do. At least your head is gonna be safe or rather out of the rain. <laughs> okay, interesting. Hello, Hello, Taco Bar. Taco Bar. So that's this. Oh, the middle room, she said. Okay, so there are three. The middle one is mine. Oh, that's nice. Probably could have cleaned up though before I went to sleep. Because I'm older, you know, whatever. So, I can I guess let's do that first if we can actually find a bit of water. And I'm damn tired of all this darkness. Let's put up. Let's put up our torch. Yes, weapons are down. We mustn't forget to put them back up. Do we have some kind of water here? Or... Apparently not. We have a very nice bed here. Cool lodgings, and this is actually our own. How is it called? But... What, what, what was she doing here? Wasn't this supposed to be my room? I didn't order a whore or anything. What, what was... Come on, I, I want to catch you. What, what was that all about? <laughs> now I'm fairly confused. Was that like the whore from outside, or what was that all about? I gained a vitality. I hope this wasn't like... I don't know what, but that was so weird. She said literally middle. This is one, two, and this is the middle for me. And why the hell, and where did she come from? That's a more important question. Because she wasn't here before. God damn it. <laughs> that was interesting. No water here to actually splash up. No water here either. So where am I ex exactly supposed to clean myself up? Uh, don't you dare go into my room. Don't you dare, I paid for it. Hmm, don't see any kind of places for water. I could actually clean up all the dirty clothes and whatever. Hello, piggies. Uh, 
Oh, so he sleeps here. And I don't really see any bucket. But I want to at least refresh myself. In, in basically the water basin that is usually at all the places. Because I don't want to go to sleep dirty. With all the blood on me or whatever. But at the same time it seems to be a too much to ask at this point. Because I cannot really find it at all anywhere. So I'm gonna guess I will have to find that out a bit later. I'm right now in the rain so maybe that's gonna be enough at least. Yeah, I don't see the wash basins anywhere, so can I guess it's gonna be going to sleep. Not exactly clean. What's this all about? No, those people <laughs> come in, in the night shirts in here. This is almost kinda scary. <laughs> oh they all seem to be coming up. And Basically changing clothes and going to sleep somewhere. This is kind of fun. <laughs> this is like some kind of cult. <laughs> well, definitely disconcerting. I'm thinking twice about if I want to sleep here. Maybe I'd want to actually sleep in the forest and it would be a bit easier. And what was this all about? This is interesting. That almost seems like some kind of hint map on something. Well, yeah, no cleaning myself, that's for sure at this point. Huh. I wonder if this actually could be used for something. I really do wonder. It's for writing apparently if you want it. Let's put off the torch. Let's put these back up. Let's sit and have dinner. So what are we gonna get for dinner? We have still the cheese that we have taken at Taunberg. Nourishment. We need something bigger. I should be probably... Well, rather, I shouldn't be eating those exes on the cooked hermit that ask him for trouble. I missed a really big deal with this, that should have been a whole lot of food for me. And I could have used the, all the hairs that I've caught on the hunt to give them on the quest, but I screwed it up big time. Didn't, or rather forgot that actually meat is gonna be going bad. I didn't expect it's gonna be going bad that fast, but yeah, well, it did, so... Sucks. Not gonna be even trying that, I guess. It's a bad idea. Bad idea, in which case we are having bread, which is gonna get in probably hard and dry. Not really getting anything else out of it, so let's just eat that. And let's eat a bit the cheese. That's a nice little dinner. Get up and go into bed. That's already well past midnight. Hmm. How long are we going to sleep? Well, everybody seems to be really waking up at about 7. I'm gonna be traveling for about 2 hours to the farm back, or rather hour. So, 6 and a half hours. Time seems good. 